With millions of Ukrainians fleeing the brutality of war, Russia's other neighbours are now anxious about their own borders. Finland is a country of around 5.5 million people, but one in five of them are members of its reservist army. And on a Sunday afternoon in one of Finland's deep forests, members of this reserve team are doing what they do every week, shooting. What is the point of the reservists? Of course, the main point is to, well, secure Finland. And we're ready to go if needed. You can't ever relax that you can be confident that your country is safe. Strong army is important. If there is empty base and weak army, there is a, a risk that somebody will come and uh, fill in that empty base. So there's always a risk of invasion. Yes. Yes. The risk of invasion has always been in Finland's identity, with two invasions by the USSR, what Russia was called before the collapse of communism, within living memory. And the 1939 Winter War strikes unnerving parallels with Putin's invasion of Ukraine. Outnumbered and outgunned, the Finns held strong against the overwhelming force of the Russians for three months, and they hung on to most of their territory. So solidarity with Ukraine runs deep and trumps the deep trade and commercial links between Finland and Russia that developed over the years of peaceful coexistence. This sprawling refinery is a symbol of the great interdependence between the Russian and Finnish economies, processing millions of barrels of Russian oil every month. But no more, because its owner, Neste, says it will now buy its oil from any country but Russia. Since the war began, Helsinki's city centre has seen a series of large-scale protests against the war. And at the Russian embassy, I met with a Russian student studying in the city and working remotely for a Russian company. Since the war broke out, she's been protesting despite laws in her mother country which could see her facing a 15-year jail term. I think that in this situation, Putin is the Nazi, despite what they might say on like Putin's propagandist TV. I know it's a war and I'm against it. I hate what Putin is doing to Ukraine and to Russia. And have you been able to talk to your family about this? Would they support you if you decided to seek asylum? Uh, yeah, I have talked to my mother and she she just begged me not to come back. She said, please seek asylum, do anything, just try to stay safe and don't come back. Just a couple of hours' drive to the east from Helsinki is the Valimar border crossing, which is almost exactly halfway between Helsinki and St. Petersburg. With flights cancelled, sanctions biting and Russia shamed and ostracised by the West, there's an exodus of both Russian and international citizens into Finland from Russia. Ian, a Brit living near Moscow for the last year, has left the country with his daughter, a journey by land that has taken nearly 24 hours. So you have escaped from Russia. Mm. Uh, uh, and Tell me, why did you leave? Uh, well, to be frank, fear of a second iron curtain to be fair yeah i mean it, it's it called me paranoid but i you know i'd rather be paranoid and get out whilst i can than um uh, than face you know 30 years in a gulag obviously there's a lot of uh, foreign nationals still there you know and of course they're beginning now to feel the bite of all the sanctions etc I mean, you, you can't not notice mcdonald's not being open captain uc pekala runs the valimar border crossing are you giving thought to what would happen if there were suddenly a great surge of people wanting to leave Russia in this direction? Of course, the border guard is uh, repairing itself and also conducting plans with other authorities in Finland. And uh, we are monitoring the situation. I'm right on the border between Finland and Russia, a border that stretches a staggering 830-odd miles. Now, it's been a relatively stable border since the collapse of communism, but Russia recently warned it can only remain stable if Finland doesn't join NATO. But this defence-minded nation will make its own decision, whatever Putin threatens, as these regular reservist drills seem to indicate. 
but it's not just local exercises with standby troops that operate within the country. Throughout March, Finnish soldiers have been part of these month-long NATO exercises in neighbouring Norway, even though Finland has never joined NATO and used to be proud of being non-aligned. In recent weeks, Finnish support for joining NATO has surged from just one in five to more than 60%. In Helsinki, I met with a foreign policy expert to find out more. There's a defence review going on. Do you think that will lead quite quickly to Finland joining NATO? This could really be the momentum, really, the window of opportunity. Now that Russia is uh, busy elsewhere, engaged in a huge military operation, uh, this could perhaps really be the momentum to put the uh, application forward. So really and truly, the, the, you know, NATO may have to make a decision late spring, early summer. That would be a very realistic timeline for that. The idea of Putin's Russia as an imperialist threat to Finland is not just a notional one. This magnificent Orthodox cathedral in the heart of Helsinki was built in the middle of the 19th century when Finland was part of the Russian Empire. At Finland's Foreign Office, I met with the official in charge of defence and security. How would you characterise the sort of centuries of relationship between Finnish people and Russia? Yeah, well, we, we have a long border with Russia. We cannot change. Uh, I mean, we, we, are, we are stuck uh, with it. We are going to make our own uh, security policy cho choices now, and we are really uh, close with Sweden, um, and we are coordinating our uh, activities closely. In the UK, in much of the West, there is an assumption that Finland will now definitely join NATO. Is that right? There are uh, some paradoxes in, in this uh, situation from the Russian point of view. Um, they have managed to unite the European Union, they have managed to unite uh, NATO, and they managed to unite even Ukraine, uh, I, I think. And one of the paradoxes is that uh, NATO's popularity in Finland and in, in Sweden has spiked. A ceremony to remember the Finns who laid down their lives to protect Finland from the invading Russians in 1939. If there was no like a soldiers battling in the winter war for us, uh, we wouldn't be here. At least I can do this and honor those who have fallen in the winter war. So this is the least I can do. While we see Putin's atrocities as an offence against all our cherished values, the Finns feel them as a threat to their very independence, which is why it's almost certain they'll defy the Russian aggressor and seek protection as a new member of NATO. Finland is the symbol of the West's rediscovered unity in the face of Putin's empire building.